Um, at House of Dawn, I am the Director of Programs. My responsibilities here, I'm involved with the overall day-to-day -day operations. Um, I am responsible for compliance, policies and procedure development, uh, program planning, uh, supervision of my staff, uh, the students that intern here with me. Um, our overall mission is to provide housing and supportive services to young mothers who are in transition, who are homeless, or who are experiencing um, challenges with parenting or um, with their pregnancy. Some of the challenges that I've seen with our staff as it relates to building rapport and really developing that level of understanding um, that builds trust and um, is supported by empathy um, is something that our staff has to grow to and um, through training and additional support um, we've seen growth in that area but that has been a challenge um, in uh, working with staff who don't necessarily have the educational or professional experience in being able to understand how those traumas relate to behavior um, and what that means for their role um, in the house with the girls. Well, hands-on is probably, I think, the most important role um, with um, Dr. Fenike, having a level of understanding that is unique to our program, having been a part of our program pretty much from the ground up and worked in several capacities. It's unique that you have someone who can come in and do training that really has a holistic understanding and an in-depth and comprehensive understanding of the work that we do and the population that we serve so that she can work really hands-on um, and specific to the needs of each individual staff. Um, while there is group opportunities for training, the hands-on coaching and working with them and observing them as they're performing their responsibilities has been instrumental in identifying areas um, that uh, need improvement, but also being able to lift up some of the strengths that our staff have I think has been provided an important balance for um, the staff relationship um, with her as a coach and with us as an agency. I think that it would be important for group homes and other agencies who work with youth who have um, these types of histories to hire behavioral health consultants group because the organization has a unique understanding again of the population of um, how to work with not only the staff but as well as the residents. That's often a challenging balance to be able to support the needs of staff who are dealing with challenging behaviors on a daily basis, um, to be able to give them the tools that they need to develop that positive and supportive rapport with staff. But it can't just be textbook. It has to be based on the lived experience of those who are in the home and can see the day-to-day -day interactions between staff and residents.